The power in side of the units consists of two Anderson locking connectors for charging the unit using either a 120 volt connection from an electrical wall socket or charging the unit with natural resources such as solar or wind. The unit has a built-in controller to ensure you don't overcharge and a charging indicator LED to show the unit is fully charged. There are several ways to utilize the power stored in the SolarLink 1000. On the power out side, there is a 12 volt DC rated power panel and a 120 volt AC power panel. These are independently from each other. On the 12 volt DC panel, you have two marine grade 12 volt receptacles fused for 15 amps. Marine receptacles are much better than the standard ones in cars as they have a securing system which keeps the 12 volt plug from just falling out. Then there are two USB ports rated at 2.1 amps which are programmed to handle USB 1, 2, and 3 standards. There are two switches on the 12 volt panel. The top switch is for powering the 12 volt panel and illuminates green when active. The bottom switch displays the battery level by illuminating a vertical colored meter. The third power source comes from the unique 1000 watt continuous pure sine wave inverter and has a peak capacity of 2000 watts. The inverter converts the DC current from the batteries to 120 volt AC for use with most plug-in devices. There are two 120 volt outlets and an additional USB port. The power switch activates the inverter to prevent power loss when it is not in use and we include a remote control to power on and off of distances up to 50 feet. To completely power down the unit we include a main power key. This keeps store power from draining during storage and protects your investment from power theft. In addition it stabilizes the battery connection for safety and security during transportation. Contact your emergency preparedness specialists at PrepCounts to order yours today.